Crazy Rock Formations. Hey everyone, it's Lexa again, and welcome back to another video. When you're describing someone boring, you tell your friends that being around that person is like talking to a rock, but this list just goes to show that not all rocks are lame. Here are some of the craziest rock formations around the world, all 100% natural. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Double O Arch You'll find Utah's famous landmarks in the Arches National Park. These are what geologists call a pothole arch, the result of water erosion from above as opposed to more typical erosion which happens from the side. The Double O Arch and the Double Arches are one of the more prominent features of the park. If these images look familiar to you, that's because they're seen in the backdrop during the opening scene of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Don't try to look for the cave in the movie, though, because it doesn't exist. Wuling Yon the official name of this park is the Wu Ling Wan Scenic and Historic Interest Area. What we're talking about today are the sandstone pillars of Wu Ling Yan. Over 3,000 of these formations exist, spreading out to an area of 102 square miles. The highest point is called Wang Shi Zhai, meaning Yellow Rock Lizard. You can either climb up the stairs or go via cable car to travel up this 3,400 foot high pillar. Wave Rock You're used to bluer, foamy waves when it comes to Australia, but this is one wave down under that you can't surf. This is Wave Rock, a formation that measures 49 feet high and 360 feet long. Tourists can visit this natural wonder at Hayden Wildlife Park, located in Western Australia. The local tribe of the Ballardong people believe that a creature called the Rainbow Serpent created the rock by dragging her body across the dry land after consuming all the water. Scientists, on the other hand, say that chemical weathering all the groundwater is what made Wave Rock. The Fairy Chimneys Clustered around the outdoors of Cappadocia, Turkey is a mass conglomeration of hoodoos, also known as fairy chimneys. It took the Earth millions of years to develop such structures, the result of volcanic eruptions raining down on the ground. That ash hardened and became a porous rock. The softer tuff wore down over a million years, leaving behind what you see now. During the Roman era, persecuted Christians fled to this area and made it their home. The softness of the tuff made it easy for people to carve and create a cave-dwelling shelter. Carlu Carlu, aka Devil's Marbles. Up in Australia's Northern Territory is Carlu Carlu, also known as Devil's Marbles Conservation Reserve. This protected area served as a location of spiritual significance to the Ree people, its Aboriginal owners. It's one of the oldest religious sites in the world. The name Devil's Marbles refers to the gigantic granitic boulders found in the conservation reserve. One is a naturally split piece of stone which looks as if it was cut cleanly down the middle by a knife when it was really just good old erosion. The other famous features include the pair of balanced boulders, which local legend says are clusters of hair left by the figure known as the Devil Man. Man Pupun Nur one of the seven wonders of Russia can be found just west of the Ural Mountains. They are the Manpubunur rock formations, a set of seven stone pillars. You may also hear them called the Poles of the Komi Republic or the Seven Strong Men rock formations. The posts measure around 98 feet high. If we rewind the clock to 200 million years ago, the pillars were as high as mountains. Basaltic Prisms of Santa Miguel Regla one of the most unique basaltic prisms in the world is located in San Miguel Regla, Mexico. Basaltic prisms happen when lava cools at an incredibly slow rate. The columned walls, known as the Barranca de Alcaloya, rise 98 feet high. What makes it even more wondrous is the two waterfalls that flow through the geologic marvel, which cascade down into the river below. Bandon Face Rock Along the south side of the Coquille River are the coastal rocks of Bandon, Oregon. According to legend, the rocks came to be after a chief's daughter became lost at sea. The formations you see now used to be her cats and kittens who were standing by the shore waiting for their owner to return. Eventually, they all turned to stone. The largest dome-like structure in the water is known as Face Rock, which is designated as a scenic viewpoint. Moon Hill through the mountainous region of Guangxi, you will come across a plethora of intriguing rock formations that rise from the earth unlike anything you've ever seen. Among those is the famous Moon Hill. This natural arch was once part of a limestone cave, though all that's left now is a limestone semicircular hole. The visitors have a concrete tourist path that passes through the arch. However, a rougher hike can take you to the summit above the arch, though that should be reserved for professional rock climbers. Bryce Canyon. This national park's name is quite misleading, seeing as it's not a canyon, but a lot of giant natural amphitheaters. However, it's still referred to as Bryce Canyon, so what can you do? 
Bryce Canyon National Park is located in southwestern Utah. It's not far from Zion, though Bryce sits at a much higher elevation. In these amphitheaters sit these towering hoodoos, some reaching up to 200 feet high. Per se rock. How in the world did something like per se rock come to be? At one point in history, the rock was connected to the mainland, but years of erosion from the water cut away at it, creating a piercing hole near one of the ends, hence the name. In French, per se means pierced. This formation is one of the most massive arches in the world that are located in the water. It is a massive limestone stack formation, and in it, scientists have found over 150 fossil species. The Cyclopean Isles Cyclopean Isles? That sounds like a faraway mythical land. If you live in a country far from Italy, then this would be an accurate assessment. What's not so accurate is the mythical part. There aren't giant one-eyed beings wandering these islands. Instead, these basaltic columns got their name from the Odyssey when Odysseus visited Sicily, where the Cyclops roamed. The isles formed 500,000 years ago thanks to a volcanic event. Tsingi de Beymaraha The Tsingi de Beymaraha National Park is found in the northwest region of Madagascar. Just like all the exotic animals that live on the island, there also exists an alien-like landscape. The word Tsingi refers to karstic plateaus. Karstic means the rock was shaped by the dissolving of a soluble rock. In this case, limestone. Tsingi de Beymaraha came to be after fossils and seashells were deposited onto the land 200 million years ago, with rainwater molding the ground for the past 5 million years. Arbol de Piedra. In Spanish, Arbol de Piedra translates to stone tree. From far away, you might think this rock formation may be a lone tree in the middle of the barren desert, but alas, it is merely sandstone. It is located in the Eduardo Averroa Andean Fauna National Reserve in Bolivia's Siloli Desert. Many people came to these empty plains to take photos of the famous stone structure, which was shaped from strong winds that carried sand and eroded the rock. The Meraki Boulders Sizable spherical boulders dot the beach of Kikoe, New Zealand. Many of them look too perfect to be made by nature, but they are. Most of them measure 1.6 to 3.3 feet in diameter. However, a third of the boulders measure from 4.9 to 7.2 feet in diameter. The Meraki boulders were born from the erosion of mudstone, which slides down the hills and enclosed compact concretions of sedimentary soil. Maori legends claim the boulders came from eel baskets, sweet potatoes, and calabashes that washed to shore from the wreck of a large sailing canoe. Externsteina Some historians think that, a long time ago, pagan Saxons regarded Externsteina as a sacred site, though there hasn't been any substantial evidence to support this theory. It appears the stones were used sometime in the Middle Ages, and it's clear Christians utilized the area as a worshipping ground. Experts just don't know precisely when. What a mystery. Nowadays, it's become a popular tourist destination with 500,000 to 1 million people visiting every year. Hanging Rock if you type in the keywords, hanging rock online, you'll probably find lots of different photos of lots of different places. Today, we're talking about the hanging rock in Blackheath, part of the Blue Mountains of Australia. When visiting the town of Blackheath, you can take the Boromoko Fire Trail and make your way to this breathtaking view. Just be ready to climb an elevation of 873 feet. If you look closely, you'll realize that hanging rock is indeed not attached to the cliff, but standing a few feet beside it. Ha Long Bay Next, we go to one of the most popular tourist destinations in all of Vietnam, Ha Long Bay. This travel site is located in the Quang Ninh province and features thousands of limestone karsts and isles on the water. In Vietnamese, Ha Long means descending dragon. They do sort of look like a serpentine dragon undulating in and out of the water, don't they? Ha Long Bay measures 600 square miles, so there's plenty of room to enjoy the scenery. Antelope Canyon If you don't associate the Arizonian landscape with wonder and amazement, then you need to take a hike on over there right now. The Antelope Canyon is one of the most surreal natural landscapes in the world. The Navajo named this land the place where water runs through the rocks. Walking through the upper and lower Antelope Canyons, you can see why this place was given that name. The rocks look more like liquid running through a stream. The canyon's walls appear shades of reds, browns, purples, and yellows, depending on the time of day you go. Drangarnir no, it's not a character from Lord of the Rings. Drangarnir may not be a warrior from a fairy tale, but it's still pretty cool. The name refers to these strange rock formations off the coast of Vagar, which is part of the Faroe Islands. The Faroe Archipelago, located between Norway and Iceland, sits about 200 miles north of Scotland. Drangarnir is not just one formation, but consists of two large sea stacks, Story Drangur and Litli Drangur. Both jut out of the water as if aiming upwards into the sky. Before we reveal number one, we've got a question. What is one natural landmark you've always wanted to visit, but you just haven't been to yet? If you have been, where is this mysterious place? Let us know in the comments below. One, the Giant's Causeway. 
The legend behind this natural landmark goes something like this. It started when two giants, one from Scotland and one from Ireland, challenged one another. The giant from Ireland built what is now known as the Giant's Causeway so that the two could meet. The Giant's Causeway, located in the north coast of North Ireland, consists of 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, the tallest of which measures 39 feet. The Bishop of Derry discovered the site in 1692. It became much more popular worldwide after artist Susanna Drury created watercolor paintings of the landscape in the 18th century. Thank <laughs> you.